to rebuild. But we also have seen this storm do a lot of damage in other parts of the country. And particularly when you get up into the mountainous terrain of Western North Carolina. And as, as damaging as you see around here, uh, it's important to acknowledge that they are in really dire straits right now. Uh, when you have roads totally washed out, bridges totally gone, you have whole communities that have basically been wiped off the map because it's very rugged terrain. So what they're now facing is you can't get out of some of these communities. You can't just drive cars in. Most of the roads are impassable and people need relief. And so that's something that as Americans we should all be concerned about. It's also a fact that you go to Western North Carolina, particularly in the summertime, it's basically like Florida North. Half the people there are from Florida and all these communities. They're beautiful communities, and it's not humid, so you can see why people do it. Now, a lot of Floridians, by the time Labor Day comes, they do come back to Florida. If this had happened in August, there would have been tens of thousands of Floridians, but there's still Floridians there. And so we want to make sure that we understand the storm uh, had impacts far beyond our borders, and it's impacting Floridians in the North Carolina and Tennessee mountains. So we launched this weekend Operation Blue Ridge. Uh, this is a multi-state agency response, including the Division of Emergency Management, our Florida State Guard, our Florida National Guard, our Department of Transportation, our Fish and Wildlife Commission, and Florida Law Enforcement Coordination Task Force to go up and to effectuate rescues of people uh, who are not able to get out uh, of those areas. And what's going to happen is they don't have a lot of power to restore that. I don't know how they're going to do. It's hard to get supplies in. The only way it really is by air in some of those places. And so just like we did when October 7th happened and Floridians were caught up in the uh, Israel-Hamas war, uh, just like we did when Haiti started going even more haywire than normal, uh, we authorized rescue missions to be able to bring people back to the state of Florida. So we are doing that now in the state of North Carolina. Uh, if you have uh, Floridians that need help and need evacuation, you can go to floridadisaster.org backslash Operation Blue Ridge, floridadisaster.org backslash Operation Blue Ridge. We have Chinook helicopters uh, that are available. Now, those are bigger birds, and so you got to have a place to land it. Some of these areas may be even tighter than that, and so we'll be using um, other assets to be able to maybe get into some tighter areas to be able to bring some people to safety. So Operation Blue Ridge go to floridadisaster.org backslash Operation Blue Ridge. I want to thank everybody that's been involved uh, in this uh, response. Obviously, we've got a lot more to do, uh, but people have worked around the clock. The response has been very efficient and effective, and we're going to continue to do all we can uh, to help the people, uh, not just here in Taylor County, uh, but throughout uh, the state of Florida. 